Ink cards are very useful to engage your audience even further if they made it onto the end of your video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make YouTube ink cards, how to edit them, and how to place them on YouTube. To accomplish this trick, you are going to need an extra set of tools, Canva, and of course, KineMaster. And if you edit your video on a computer, the same steps apply to you as well. Without any further ado, let's go on there. Okay, so the first thing that you need is you need to download Canva, and the links to download Canva are on the description box below. So you're gonna open Canva, you're gonna tap on the search box right at the top, and you're gonna type the words YouTube outro. In here, you have multiple templates to choose from, as you can see. The ones that says free, you can use it at no charge to you. And the one that don't say free, they require a subscription. The reason why I stay in the obvious is because after you put all the time and effort to redesign your template or create a new one, in what you thought it was a free template, Canva will let you do all that work right until the point when you try to download your work and then they will hit you with a sign like this. That means that you're gonna have to do it all over again. So make sure that you pick a free template right from the beginning. So tap on a free template or tap on blank and create one from scratch. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use one that I previously picked. So you are going to tap on the edit button then you're gonna tap on any element on your template and you're gonna make it applicable to your brand. I personally get rid of the two boxes and the circle and I am going to demonstrate later on why I do this. The only things that I keep on are the text at the top and the one at the bottom. After that, you're gonna tap on the download button and that part of the process is complete. So now you're going to go back to your project on KineMaster and you're gonna go to the very last 20 seconds of your video. So you're gonna tap on layer, you're gonna tap on media, and you're gonna go to your Canva library. You're gonna tap on the template that you just created. Then you're gonna move it all the way onto the end of your clip. Now you're gonna highlight your main clip and you're gonna tap on extract audio. Then tap on the scissors button, tap on split a playhead, Tap on the three dots on the upper left corner right here. And then you're gonna tap on duplicate as layer. So now you are going to delete that part of your main clip and your template layer. So tap on media, go to your Canva library and bring back your template again. So now tap on the clip on layer and make it full screen. So you're gonna tap on the keyframe button and you're gonna mark the zoom out for your video. So now what you're gonna do next is you are going to follow the same steps that you always follow when you upload your videos to YouTube. And you are going to utilize the same step that you always use to add your cart. The only things that you are going to do differently is the placement of your car so they don't interfere with your talking head. And this is the reason why I deleted the two boxes and the circle at the beginning, because it gives you more flexibility as to where you want to place your car. Next, you are going to do two things. You're gonna tap on play to get a preview of your work, and you are going to make sure that your end car appears on screen while you're still offering valuable information. The main goal of all of this is to further your engagement with your audience and to have them clicking on your end cards without even thinking that your video is over. And since you're still here, why don't you click on one of these cards to learn how to speed ramp your video or how to create a moving background. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time on the water.